You could be making a huge mistake right now, and you're not the only one. Many people in crypto are crying right now with altcoins down bad and Bitcoin being volatile. Not to mention, your favorite YouTuber keeps making clickbait titles about how the market is doomed. But could we expect to make a reversal in the near term? Well, it's possible if we see a few key things play out. But before I share these key points with you, there's some really important news that you should be aware of. I'm talking about something that could change the trajectory of how things have been going lately. And let's face it, it's been pretty bad. Altcoins have been taking a massive beating and we've all been hoping that this is the true bottom. Then out of nowhere, we hear about the SEC dropping its investigation into Ethereum. And since this news, Ethereum jumped past $3,500. All of this is super confusing. So should you be bullish or not? In this video, we'll discuss all this and more so that you can position yourself to navigate this market like a champ. I recently launched my VIP Discord where you can get access to exclusive early opportunities. As a VIP member, you'll unlock investment opportunities and early projects before they even launch even earlier than pre-sale buyers and you'll also get notified about my personal portfolio plays take part in exclusive giveaways have early access to my content before everyone else and much more check out the link below if you're interested if this is your first time here my name is summer and welcome to fire hustle let's get right into it but first, hit that like button, subscribe, and smash that shiny bell notification button. And remember, none of this is financial advice. So we just caught wind that the United States Securities and Exchange Commission is dropping its investigation on Ethereum. And if you aren't aware of what all of this is all about, the SEC was going after Ethereum to potentially label the sales of ETH coins as securities transactions. In other words, potentially proving that Ethereum is to be treated as a security asset. And this would be a major issue for the Ethereum team and community of participants and developers as there would be a huge legal penalty and fines to pay. Now we've seen this happen already with Ripple's XRP token and it's just terrible. The legal battle between Ripple and the SEC is still ongoing after four years. Now thankfully for the crypto community, the SEC ran into a major dilemma. So just months ago, the SEC approved spot ETF for Ethereum, which would deem it a commodity with a store of value. Or another way of putting it, they already labeled ETH a non-secure you see the problem, right? So they were basically forced to drop the investigation and potential charges. This marks a major win for the entire Ethereum ecosystem and community. But despite this, we've only seen Ethereum go up slightly in price along with the rest of the market. Most altcoins experienced a pretty big pullback in the last week. And while it looked like Ethereum could jump back over the $4,000 mark and potentially set a new all-time high, it also felt this pullback. Even dipping under $3,400 in the last week. Now you would think that major positive news would help push the price of a cryptocurrency upwards. And we did see a recovery back up over $3,500, but this price action is honestly really underwhelming. But why is Ethereum struggling so much even with such bullish news coming out? Well, let's think about the market for a second. The total market cap for all cryptocurrencies has been on the rise over the last year. This is usually a good indication of a transition from a bear market to a bull run. Money comes flooding into the crypto market and that makes sense. But after this aggressive climb near the end of 2023 and into the start of 2024, things start to slow down. And it almost seems like it plateaued at this point right under $3 trillion. And from here, we've seen the total market value fluctuate in this range. So it's not climbing as much, but it's also not dropping too significantly, which is a good thing for us investors. Now we're currently in a dip downward, so it feels pretty significant when looking at your portfolio, but overall the market value is being somewhat maintained. Not to mention that pullbacks like this one we're facing right now is normal. We've seen it in the past as well, we're mid -second. Cycle, Bitcoin tends to take a dip. And if you zoom out for a second, you'll realize that the dip is not as significant as it may seem. I mean, we're still at $65,000, whereas just in February, we're in the $40,000 area. So we've still seen a pretty significant climb after a long while. And think about it this way, many long-term holders are finally seeing new highs where they might feel the need to take some profits. This is just the nature of the market and the reason why crypto can be so volatile. So we're not at a point where money is just pouring out of the market the way it does at the end of a bull run, but then what happens next? So in my opinion, there is more to come. Less red and more green, but we need to be patient. Do you know how long it took for Bitcoin to set a new all-time high in the last bull cycle? It took 546 days after the 2020 Bitcoin halving. That's about a year and a half. 
It also took about this long after the 2016 halving and about a year after the first halving in 2012. Of course, not every cycle is the same and things change a lot with crypto and world events taking place. But as a comparison to all past cycles, we're still early in this post halving time period. It's been about two months so far and the market is overall positive over the last year. So this could just be a stretch of sideways trading, which is actually very normal. And I can't say this enough, crypto is super volatile. There's no guaranteed 100% prediction strategy when it comes to price action. But what I can say is that if history does repeat, then we are in for a big run. Those who are fearful and exit the market may get sidelined when altcoins suddenly go up for a run in price and at that point, there will be many people who are chasing gains. So personally, I'll be staying patient in my positions and dollar cost averaging into plays until we see this big upward momentum that everyone is waiting for in order to take maximum advantage of my position. But I guess the big question is, will everything go up in price? So there is one big issue that I see in the space and that's the fact that there's so many coins being created every single day. It's hard for money to flow into all of these coins for a big run up. So my strategy is to focus on the key narratives that I think will do well this cycle. Narratives like gaming and AI and some others like Deepin and real world asset related projects. And within these narratives, I'm looking for projects with strong fundamentals, great technology and a solid team. There's probably about 30 or more narratives that I could list off. And while some projects within these narratives are strong, I think that the greater population may not be as interested in them. For example, one narrative is privacy. And while there's many great privacy projects out there, the majority of people may not have as much interest in privacy plays when compared to gaming or AI. Gaming and AI are some of the easiest narratives to understand for new people entering the crypto space. And while I have my eyes on some layer one projects as well, narratives like these could run, but they are slightly more difficult to understand by those that are new to crypto. So can Ethereum hit $10,000 like people are predicting in the bull run? Well, it's possible. Again, using the last bull run as an example, Ethereum was at around $200 during the last Bitcoin halving in 2020. And just six months later, the price doubled, pushing over $400. And then from this point, it was over a 10x climb to eventually set the all time high. So that's more than a 20x gain from the 2020 halving date. So if we were to see another 20x climb this time around, Ethereum would reach over 60k. But this would also mean that the market cap increases by that much. And it's hard to say if this is even possible. We definitely need to keep in mind that that every cycle is different in terms of price patterns and timing. The current cycle is already so different with Bitcoin passing its all time high before the halving event. And of course, the approval of the spot ETFs is a new concept now in the world of traditional investments. I would think that this has more potential to bring in even more money than previous cycles, but we'll have to wait and see how things pan out. If you're holding Ethereum or any other cryptocurrencies, it's always good to have a game plan and understand the risks involved. Always make sure to implement a strategy for profit taking as we don't know where the top of the bull run ends up being. It could happen more than a year from now if it's similar to the last cycle or it could take place much earlier. Even with all of the bullish news you hear, an exit strategy is always something important to have planned out. If you want to learn more about exit strategies, you can watch this video here. And that's all folks. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Remember, the crypto space comes with high risk and none of this is financial advice. I highly recommend that you do your own research before deciding to invest. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you in the next one.